when Jackie Matoke met her husband of 38 years, she did not know that he was a police officer. That was the 1980s, and police officers were feared by the old and the young alike. Today, Jacqueline's husband is long retired from the service, but the public image of the Kenya police has only gotten that year. But when I met him, I was inexperienced. So I didn't know how much I was carrying. So in the Mkuta, I was in the Mkuta. 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 Later, I was in the Mkuta. I was in the Mkuta. I was in the Mkuta. Because I was in the Mkuta. 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 Unaanza kutoroka hata uchefanya makosa. Na watu wingi wanafanyanga hivyo huko ushago. Sio mimi peke yangu nilikuwa nafanya hivyo. Ukumbuke hizo ni nyakati za 80s. So tulikuanga tunaogopa, tunatoroka tukiona mtu ina, ina uniform ya askari, tunamtoroka. But then, coming to realize, hati mwenye ninaungea na yeye ni askari. Iliogopa kidogo, but kwa sababu nisha mpenda, tukaendelea. 58-year-old Jacqueline is a member of the National Police Wives Welfare Association, NAPOA. NAPOA brings together the spouses of police officers, women whose husbands have one of the toughest professions in the country. If you are a police wife, you are the woman who is married to you, a police officer, who is married to his colleagues, for his job. You need to understand that. Tasked with the responsibility of keeping the country's 50 million citizens safe and orderly, the police service, largely made up of men, is arguably the most disliked and tainted group of public servants in Kenya. <laughs> Then you must hear Amanda in Chekuna Kupigana Iko somewhere. Nini me baki kwa nyumba na watoto. Sijui kama atarudi na baki tuna kuomba. Being a police wife, si oraisi. Although many Kenyans are shielded from the tremendous stress faced by members of the police in the line of duty, those like Jacqueline, who share a bed with his officers, get a first-hand experience of what it's like to be an officer of the law. Our media. There's a way they magnify anything negative that happens in the service. Anything negative. But when an officer does well... Ano Chieng met her husband in church in the late 90s and they got married a few years later when he was just entering the police force as a junior officer. Actually, nothing prepared me. <laughs> nothing prepared me of, 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 of being a, an officer's wife. I was prepared on being a wife because we had our premarital counseling, but uh, nothing really prepared me on the life that I was going to have with him as an officer. In April 2022, the Inspector General of Police, Hilary Mutiambai, announced that 2,000 police officers are mentally unfit for work. Well, you know the tricky part is, eh? Uh, him as an officer, he looks at you as a common manage. <laughs> so, there are things about his work that you are not supposed to know. Because, when you're here. But on the other hand, you find the, the Wanainchi now look at you, I think they, look, they view us as the cops. We are, we are actually officers. Eh? Yeah, so, it's really hard to find a balance. And a people transfer, but also in the hour, Unashindo vile unafanya. Sasa tunakuwa confused. Apo ndiyo sasa askari anaansa kufikiria nifanya nini. Ndiyo naona askari anafikiria mbaka kufikiria inakosa. Sababu wafanya nini, ya ulise na nina ameambiwa asirudi nyuma kuulisa mkubwa wake kitu ya yote ama kukata kitu mkubwa wake anamambia. Impromptu transfers, traumatized husbands and unsustainable salaries are some of the issues Kenyans married to police officers have to endure day in, day out. Like there was a time when the police car was going on a guard for the ngata. We were going to make sure. So, Mama, when you hear you, are you back in the ngani? Come and do it for me. Keep your heart. Are you just out to say that you are doing it to a co-housewife and a godianga? Both underpaid and ill-equipped, 
Kenya's police officers face untold dangers in the line of work, both physically and psychologically. Dangers that more often than not end up even spilling over to their families. Genetrix Sotieno is the founder of the Police Wives Association, Napoa, and she says her organization helps women married to officers navigate the difficulties that come with the police work, including economic activities that complement the small salaries their husbands are paid by the government. Then for, for a woman married to these officers, you need to be self-dependent. Because uh, an officer walks in that door, you don't know if he will come back. You know the police officer is the enemy of everyone. Minus his family only. And that family for me, I think it is only his wife and his children. Police officers will be in the front lines to keep Kenyans safe and quell any violence that usually arises from conflicts. Waris Kimate in Nairobi.